Hello, I'm Tom Prislow, and welcome to the workshop. Uh, I'm a concert guitar builder, classical guitars, and also I have a line of guitars built to my specification, the Pavon line, they're built to my specs in Spain. And this is the TP30 model. The TP30 model is the top of the line, and it comes in both spruce and cedar soundboards. This particular one is spruce. Now, I get a lot of questions, what's the difference between the TP20 and the TP30 model, the difference between that. The, uh, the TP30 model, it's, we use the same high quality material, solid wood top, solid East Indian rosewood back and sides, a mahogany neck, ebony reinforcement in the neck, and a solid ebony fretboard, bone, nut, and saddles. It's available in a 640 scale length and also a 650 scale length. Now, the TP30 uses a different bracing system than the TP20. They, they both are very good bracing systems, but the TP30 goes, I was trying to create a guitar that was more nuanced, more like what a, real, what a really fine concert guitar builder would do, a fine luthier. And the graduation, the thicknessing of the soundboard and the bracing of the top make this, this guitar really very, very successful. The uh, harmonic bar is, is straight across below the sound hole. And I've introduced a treble bar that comes from the center of that bar, of the harmonic bar, and comes at an angle down like so on the treble side of the guitar. And instead of using a seven fan brace system similar to a Taurus, I use a six fan brace system on this. I drop off one of the fan braces on the treble side because there's enough stiffening and strengthening already with the treble bar that I don't want too much stiffening. I want to have it open but responsive. So I dropped off one of the braces there. I then use chevrons, what we call it, and these come up like so. And the chevrons stiffen the guitar and reinforce it, the, the soundboard. But at the same time, they make the soundboard work as one unit very nicely. They, they kind of tie it together. You know, and at the same time, they, they reinforce the structure of the wood. Uh, a flamenco guitar, for instance, might not have those chevrons at the bottom. They want to have a, a, a top that's a little more wild, a little more explosive, but not as disciplined as far as its, its sustain and clarity of, sing, of single note for a polyphonic single note voicing like you want in more of a contrapuntal type of an instrument. So those chevrons give it that stiffness. They let this top move in a focused way. The Underneath the bridge area here, the soundboard is thicker and it thins out more toward the sides of the instrument. So, and that little bit makes a difference between, because with more thinness in here, we get different, resin, different frequencies come out, but also it lets the top move, rock, move, and push the air in front of it uh, differently than if it was just all one solid thickness and thick saddle as i said and the bridge are bone and i do all of the setup work myself i don't wholesale these guitars to some other music stores that would then raise the price and sell them to the public and uh, that's for a number of reasons that i deal directly with my customers one is that i want to keep the price down but the other is that I want them set up correctly and I want to be able to deal with my customers and make sure that their needs are met. And, and I have total quality control that way. Used to have a, a, the Santa Fe Spruce Company, so I know how important using really fine wood is throughout the instrument, but especially on the soundboards. And all of the soundboards on all of the guitars are of really very, very high quality. Uh, besides that, I can honestly say that I think you could pay twice as much for a nylon string guitar or three times as much and you're not going to get a better sounding instrument. People frequently ask me, well, do you have another one? Do you have something like that's better than the TP30? And I can honestly say that I would be dishonest if I 
we're selling you another guitar that costs more money that I really thought sounded better because I don't think that that's possible to do that just because I charge more. These really, for a, a guitar built to specifications by a really fine manufacturer with a really fine uh, craftsman doing the work, uh, the next step up to making a, a better, an instrument that would be nuanced uh, slightly better would be to go with a luthier built instrument and then you'd have to go with a very fine luthier and the price would be multiples of what this price is. Uh, one of the remarkable things about the nylon string guitars, classical guitars today, is that uh, you can pay not all that much and get an instrument that really is, a, is of this exquisite quality. And if you have any questions, you want to talk guitar, find out more about different things. Uh, I can do different custom features also in instruments on special order. Um, give me a call. I always enjoy talking to customers. And uh, thank you for coming by and signing off. Have a good day. Thank you.